So, welcome to this week's episode of Smoking in the Park. Um, we're at a former human preserve, cultural, basically a human zoo <laughs> is what it is. We're hoping to see some cages that used to contain those mysterious folks to the Orient or some other stuff. We're joined this week with Brian. Hello. Welcome. Like say some few, a few words. I'm, I'm pretty excited to be here at the Human Preserve. More excited than these two probably, but hopefully yeah, I get to see some things. This should be a good time, so stay tuned. This is the elusive male American Caucasian. Its physical prowess allows it to deftly navigate through the thick bush. However, its pale coloring fails to provide sufficient natural camouflage. A natural explorer, this species enjoys wandering about and looking at other members of its species, its surroundings, and other random things. It spends an extraordinary amount of time observing those things known to reflect its own image, such as water. Its particular interests include building unnecessarily large and elaborate structures, only to subsequently abandon them. Fortunately, these structures can later be shown and described to other like specimens who will regard the bearer of this information as intelligent. The male devotes much time to pondering the fairer sex. Here, we can observe one specimen's misguided attempt at mating with a headless statue. Despite his earnest enthusiasm, his male will likely realize that his efforts are futile. This may not, however, dissuade him from committing future acts of this kind. The American Caucasian is an apt collector of objects such as cigars and foodstuffs. He goes to great lengths to construct trading forums where these items can be obtained from other specimens who are more adept at producing them. This is the American Caucasian's equivalent of a watering hole. This species is known to expel a great deal of effort and time in the preparation and consumption of food. It enjoys both conventional and exotic types of prey and can obtain them with ease. This fact places the American Caucasian at the top of the global food chain. These particular specimens also enjoy analyzing and discussing the components of their meals quite exhaustively. I'd like you to take a look at their transparent saucis. It, it, it is transparent and it's it? thick. I'm sure you can. Okay. Yeah, you can actually. <laughs> um, we don't know what it is, but it's definitely Portuguese. It's not Italian. And, uh, so Portuguese friends, tell yeah. us what this is. It's like really high quality chorizo. So um, I think we're officially trespassing right now. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, some structure that obviously had something happen to it. I'm going with it was bombed during the war. <laughs> um, I'll go with negligent cigar smoker. Negli that's also a possibility. Yeah. Um, Brian just tried to explore this, but his, his foot fell into something dark. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, what are you guys smoking today? Monte, Monte Cristo number four? Yes. Yeah. Monte Cristo number four. Uh, it's a Corona 
Lonsdale somewhere between those. Uh, tasting impressions is it's like every other Monte Cristo I've yeah. ever smoked. Yeah, me too. Um, cocoa, yeah. coffee. Not as creamy as they usually are. There's a lot, a lot more bitter. This one's, yeah, it's pretty mild, I would say. It's a good smoke for a, a day at the human zoo. We will not be going into the mystery structure. It does not look entirely safe, but I am sure in my to my very core that there's something interesting in there. Yeah. Bones. I, I'm, I'm warranting a full frickin' human skull.